Good Sunday morning, everybody. I was just sitting here getting ready to get in the car to run to Harbor Freight to get some lights. Um, and then I all of a sudden started hearing people yelling and screaming, and I thought, what the heck? What is that? I forgot. The uh, 49ers are playing. So I'm going to watch that game um, because anybody that knows anything about football knows that I'm a Seahawks fan and we cannot have the 49ers win. So, um, say hi. Say hi. Um, anyway, it's been an interesting morning reading all the comments about the pit bulls. I actually had one person, um, say that this was the most ignorant vid uh, video I've ever made and they were unsubscribing. Yay. Good for you. I love it when they flounce out. Um, and, uh, oh, the kids are coming over. We play at, uh, seven tonight, I think. And um, the kids are coming for dinner and to watch football. And in the meantime, I need to go run around and do some uh, shopping. I'm going to get bikes to decor or lights to decorate my bike because we're going to have a parade in here. So I can't wait. At home from shopping just in time for um, the second half of the San Francisco and um, New Orleans game to uh, start at halftime. <laughs> I was gone at halftime. And it's 28 to 27. Holy cow. Anyway, I'm going to make a quick little, I was going to call it breakfast, but now I'm going to call it lunch since it's almost 1 o'clock. I'm going to... I've already cut the um, ends off the uh, radishes, and I'm going to make some keto fried potatoes. Ouch! Wow, that could have been bad. It's a, a little tiny cut, but no blood. So. No blood, no foul, right? I'm also going to cut up a uh, little, these are just little red um, bell peppers. They're not spicy. I don't do spice. These add wonderful flavor. And I'm going to scramble one egg. I don't always use a mixer blade, but it was handy. Okay, so we're going to throw in, I'm using avocado oil. You can use any healthy oil you want. Let that heat up for a minute. Wow, that heated, heated, heat, heated up <laughs> fast. So. Oh, and the Saints just scored. Yeehaw. So we're going to fry this up and let them get soft. And we'll uh, check it when it's ready.
not quite ready yet. Okay, these are definitely crispy. And I'm going to add one egg. Just to add some protein. Then we'll plate it. And eat lunch. Go keto. Apparently we want the uh, Saints to win. I'll have to go look at the standings and see why that is. But um, if that's the case, then yay, go 49ers. So the 49ers won, although I'm not a 49er fan at all. But we needed them to win uh, for our own standing, so yay. So I um, mentioned, you know, trying to just make some privacy on the um, sliding glass door. And uh, Terry from Destination Open Road reminded me that she had given me a roll of... Um, I don't know what you would call it, privacy stickers for walls or for windows. And um, since I haven't unpacked my car from camping yet, it was still in there. And so I just put it on. I'll show you what it looks like. I just have to do the other wall. See, it's just some opaque sticker paper that you just put on the window and you know it still lets light in but now I can't see that window and I'm going to add another one right there also so um, but I'll still put my puzzle up outside over there so thank you Terry it's perfect it's exactly what I needed so first you want to spray window with just water and peel the backing off The best thing um, is to have a squeegee to do this, and I actually went to the Dollar Tree to buy a squeegee and got everything but a squeegee while I was there because I forgot. to get all the air bubbles out and then when the water dries I'm gonna keep moving it when the water dries it will stick to the window Shoot, it's 
so they're not quite even but I don't care and it works perfectly that's exactly what I wanted guess who's coming guess who's coming to dinner who do you think he always knows something's going on when I put his bed on the floor Okay, what do we say? Go Seahawks! There you go! There you go! So we have to win out. And the road to the Super Bowl goes through Seattle. If the Saints would have won, we could have lost another game. No, he's not. He's not even in the conversation. Well, Cameron has this weird um, superstition about watching the game when the Seahawks are behind, and he had to leave. And because then, anyway, it's just, it's a whole thing. So anyway, they're gone, and I'm just going to watch the rest of the game, and that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Good night, everyone.